and we'll move it back and then we'll move it forward see how easy that is and then you can just bring it forward until it shows on that on the butt on the actual uh, panel and then move it for you know wherever you want to move it right left or right um, let's just put this over here we can put a start button and then we'll call our start button we can have a label on here let's just say this is the start button let's put a label we'll say start push uh, we'll just say button and then we'll add the label right here as a rectangle you see that puts the start button right here we'll lower it down just a little bit so it gets a, it looks a little bit better and then we'll change the name of the button okay so we'll call this start and this is the reference start PB that's going to be the reference we use inside of our OPC server and then we're going to actually come over here and give it a, assign it an input and assign it an output for the light okay so now all right, all right this video is going to be talking about easy PLC's machine simulator and we're going to actually be using the editor so we're going to be building our own machine let me show you this so you're going to go over to your editor so if you were at your home page you would just go to editor but the, obviously you have your, your pre-built machines over here on the very next tab which is machines we're going to go to editor this time we're going to go to start and we're going to go to factory uh, one editor now you can go to outdoor or factory light but we're going to go to factory one editor and then what we're going to do is we're going to build our own machine I'm going to show you just a couple little free or helpful little tips and tricks that I do um, to kind of help you get through this so over here on the, the left hand side obviously you can um, just just so you know too you can actually edit all your files um, just so you know you can edit the current files that are pre-built machines and edit those in here as well but be careful with that make copies and stuff like that if you're going to do that because well you don't want to mess something up and then have to repeat yourself or even ask for a request for another one so let's actually go over here and look at this so we have shapes we have buttons pre-built machines we have buttons over here uh, we have uh, let's just say environments so if you want to change your environment the you have your lights like say for instance you added lights right so it would light up the, the area a little bit better uh, so you can see how that's done so you see we're adding lights and that's just pushing the button right now I want to sh uh, another little trick here so let's just come over here and uh, let's actually delete one of these lights so we come over here and hit this and press the delete button and you sure you want to delete and see that deletes the lighting how much lighting we have in the room so you can kind of see that all right, so if we had no lights, there we go. All right, see how, how kind of dim it is and everything. So that just kind of gives you a clue what to do right there. Also, again, uh, another uh, setting that I want to uh, highly recommend in VMware. All right, so in VMware, to be able to do what we're about to do, you're going to go to your edit, and this is going to be preferences for the, the actual VMware itself. I'm using VMware Workstation. 16 you're going to go to preferences and then you're going to go to input and then make sure your grab keyboard and mouse input on clicks and then grab keyboard and mouse inputs on press or actually these two check boxes are on and then and then the cursor section down here optimize the mouse for games click always now keep in mind this will be for every VM that you currently have so this is not just for the instance of like say I have multiple VMs it's going to be for all of my VMs that are using my instance of VMware workstation again I have that up here uh, you can see I have a bunch of VMs over here so um, just now now that we've got that out of the way this gives you the free realm to, to like use your mouse better I currently have a, just a standard mouse with a scroll so I can basically scroll up back and forth on just using my finger inside of the scroll on the side on the top of the mouse I can press uh, press that button it's actually a button too. the the scroll is a button I can go up and down by moving the mouse sideways sideways or back and forth um, and I just want to show you how to do that now let's quickly now you got a ton of stuff that you can add here but you don't want to independently just add one thing at a time right you want to do pre-built systems to start out with right to kind of get you familiar with what to do. All right, so let's just come over here and let's grab our uh, liquid tank. Okay, so it, it added it. We can add two of them if we want to, but let's go ahead and uh, 
delete one because I added two. All right, so what this does is the setting I just told you to change inside of uh, VMware. You can click this now and go up and down. See how I can just run that, run it back and forth, or I can click this side and move it back and forth. Right, so you can see that. So obviously, I want to get this down on the floor, just like that. And if I wanted to move it around, I could as well. And moving forward, you can have a push button. We can put a push button right here. Like say for instance, uh, we want to go down. Let's just move the mouse down just a little bit and walk over to it. I'm going to add a button right here. All right, so this is the filler. So well, let's go ahead into buttons and switches and let's add a button. And let's see if we can grab our button and move it up here actually let's just up oh, I'm sorry about that I'm dropping below the floor all right so we'll just leave it right there and we'll move it up just like this and we'll move it back and then we'll move it forward see how easy that is and then you can just bring it forward until it shows on that on the butt on the actual uh, panel and then move it for you know wherever you want to move it right left or right um, let's just put this over here we can put a start button and then we'll call our start button we can have a label on here let's just say this is the start button let's put a label we'll say start push uh, we'll just say button and then we'll add the label right here as a rectangle you see that puts the start button right here we'll lower it down just a little bit so it gets a, it looks a little bit better and then we'll change the name of the button okay so we'll call this start and this is the reference start pb that's going to be the reference we use inside of our opc server and then we're going to actually come over here and give it a, assign it an input and assign it an output for the light Okay, so now, all right, so let we go, let's come over here and go up a little bit so we can see this. Now, we're going to have to assign the valves. For the pre-built machines, we can assign the valves right here. So, again, this is the PLC input valve, right? So this is the R, the output valve. We're going to assign it the output of one. We'll assign the next one to the output. We'll just go in ascending order, and we'll just assign all of our inputs and outputs, right? So they have analog values in here as well. So we're going to add the analogs, uh, the tank level. We're going to go ahead and add all this. What I'm going to do is just show you how to add this stuff. And then as we've had all of our IO map now, we don't really have a whole lot of stuff to this. But we, what we want to do right now to verify everything works is we want to go to the simulate. You see, go to simulation. You can say start machine or you can press this button right here. Now you see all of our inputs and stuff are there. So if I push this button, see that the the button comes in. Now the light doesn't cut on or nothing like that because obviously, well, we're not uh, at this point in time. We don't actually have any any logic behind it or anything like that. So the light doesn't actually pull up. However, let's turn on the light right here to verify the light works. Oh, and let's actually open up the inlet valve. Now you can see the water coming in. Now let's look at the digital inputs. You can see that all that's working. So now we have a machine we can actually program, right? So let's go and let's empty it real quick. You can see it emptying, you can see the flow rate. So that's real quick and simple how to add a, just basically build your own machine from scratch. Like, and then I can just basically save this, right? I can come in here and then save this as, we'll call this, uh, save as and then let's see edit mode oh you cannot save in edit mode so come out of edit mode save as and then we're gonna call this instead of my machine we're gonna call this uh, tank uh, my tank or my mixing tank mixing tank all right so that way I know I can just come back in here and finish this any given time. So if I were to exit out of this stuff, I can just come back, right? So I can just go and exit out of this. And now in my pre-built machines, now I you still have to need, you still have to take a picture, uh, but in my machines over here, 
I'm gonna have a new one that I, I don't have a preview for and see I can start that one up and that's gonna be my actual uh, machine that I actually you know just built right the pre-built machine for the mixer and now I can actually come over here and view the IO I can come over here and simply program all the stuff that we we've actually made now uh, I want to keep uh, kind of show you how to make a preview as well so again you need to make a preview image um, that's always the case so let's go over here let's go over here let's open up factory one editor again and let's open up the machine that we created now we're going to open up machine we created and we're going to get it open and then we're going to go to where it says my first or I believe it was my let's see yeah my mixing tank right here and we need to get a preview so in tools you need to get a camera position let's see get a preview and what we want to do at this point in time is let's see settings that's not it so and, and this is just kind of going through the motions and stuff like that as far as getting the actual uh, scene and stuff of that nature right so that you get a preview of what what's happening just while you're doing this make sure you uh, actually come in here and, and get any kind of JPEG or not JPEG but like a PNG and let me show you where these are located um, at first so that we actually know where to put the file um, so you can use any software to get to grab the grab the actual screenshot but go to file explorer and then go up to your C drive right here and then go to the um, Nertic and that's going to be the file that's going to be where the, cert, the actual software is right so then you're going to have the machine simulator and then your ms3 bin underscore data and then your my machines and that's where the jpeg is going to go so if i were to open this up this is just a jpeg of the machine just taken or not a jpeg but a, a png file you can see the image type over here is a png file so watch what i'm going to do is I'm going to actually simulate this right and I'm going to shorten these down a little bit so that it gets a better perspective or gets a better understanding so what I'm going to first do is come over here and I'll turn my light on turn my input on and then I'll use my JPEG I'll come over here and get my green shot and then I'm going to capture my screen area come over here get my screen area Put that like that and then I'm going to save this and then what I'm going to do is save this on like say for instance my desktop and then I'll put this will be my uh, mixing tank All right and then that's going to give the image All right so let's close the tank all right and let's go back over here to my actual files where I have everything and then we're gonna so I'll close one of them and let's find the image that I just made all right so let's find the image that I just made and that's gonna be uh, let me see where it's at it should have put it right on the front of my desk desktop right here this is the image so what we're gonna do is we're going to come over here and the proper sizing is everything so make sure you look at the sizing right here so we can actually go in here and hit uh, properties and look at the size so see if we can come over here or actually let's come over here and look at the sizing because um, I may have to resize this actual the whole thing down a little bit I think what I did is a little bit too too big but Either way, well, um, what we're trying to do is just get it in there, right? So let's come over here, copy this over here, and let's paste this into the location. Now it's my mixing machine, right? So then that should point to that. That should understand that that's going to be where that image is. So let's come over here and see if what we did is right. Okay, so we're going to exit. And it may be the wrong format size. Again, the format size, depending upon what you're doing. Uh, so let's go over to my machines. And we still have preview, so it's probably the the wrong size. Oh, and plus I named it my machine, so I re I need to rename the the whole image as far as that goes. So let's come over here, and let's rename the whole thing. <clears throat> All right, so let's come over here, open that up, 
and change it from my machine even though that we did change the name right uh, my mixing tank do I want to overwrite oh I don't want to save I wanted to open oh I almost messed up so that is something you need to be aware of that you load in the proper machine when you do things all right so this name right here is going to be that's where you're going to change that it's going to be my uh, mixing tank and that's what you're going to put you can put the author there Shane Welch here all right so just keep in mind that there's a couple things that you can you know put in there skybox you can change everything up here um, and then so let's keep that as default uh, module configuration properties is good uh, edit your script that's if you're going to edit the code behind it we're not going to do that uh, so just keep that in mind and then we'll hit save okay so now if we come out of this it should instead of saying my machine it should actually say that that is the my mixing tank so let's go back into my machines and let's go back into the mixing tank and it says my mixing tank let's see right here and we have our jpeg or we have our png file so please don't confuse that um again all we're doing is tying everything together and making sure that we we use any kind of screen capture you want it doesn't matter you can use snag it you can use green shot you can do anything you want to add that in there um again i use green shot because it's absolutely free um and then you can just grab your image the size you want it and then make sure you place it in the folder structure that is supposed to be there right and then go back in and name your project so you can see right here it's called my mixing tank now if I start that up I can easily start editing and, and making a POC file from what we built so far again so you've seen me you've seen how I did this right you've seen how everything works so again you can see right there that's me pushing the, the button the lights coming on this comes over here this is exactly how you get your scope of work again like we've got our scope of work before on other videos but I just this one was showing you how to build a machine from scratch and really how to get everything into your system so that you have everything functional and working just like we have showed in the past with our pre-built machines because you might want to build your own right and I completely agree with that uh, I completely agree with you building your own and having things working the way they should be right so with that said let's come over here and uh, we can open the software up again and show you that the the when it comes to and mine's gonna size up to a different size again it doesn't go full screen because of the layout I have I have the resolution set to um, basically uh, 1024 by 768 uh, right so that's that's that and then I come over here to my machines and now I have my mixing tank right so that's just a real simple illustration. I know, uh, sorry how long the video is, but most of the details behind uh, building something and building something foundationally without any question are gonna be a detailed long video. So again, hopefully that was really, really helpful and it showed you how to actually do everything from scratch using Easy PLC's Machine Simulator, building your own machine and having something there, right? And now you can take that file, keep that in mind, you can take these files, copy these, and share them with everybody, anybody you want to, right? Uh, you can share these, you can just move these around if you want to, if you just wanna say, okay, these two, uh, I wanna say, okay, are, are my machines, I'm gonna put them in a said location. Um, that's how you move around files, right? So just keep in mind, you can make a backup of what you're doing and have it in multiple areas if you wanted to edit it again and then change something and didn't wanna worry about like messing something up like you, you know, we tend to do we're just you know we tend to you know try to make something better and we we have to sometimes we we hit limitations and we have to back up and go back to our backup that's just life um so uh, when it comes to it i wanted to show you a, a quick illustration on how to do that so hopefully that was really helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one